yank it off and then put it somewhere else and then go walk Whoa. on it. So we're doing crazy stuff. It's cool. Uh, do we talk about new team members now or do we do that? Oh yeah. Or did you do that? We have Please, uh, yeah, we, we, we have a new team members. member who we hired, Ryan Madsen, join our team. Lee Ryan Madsen. Ryan, where have you come to us from? I was independent before I came here, uh, but previously I worked at uh, Crystal Dynamics for a while. I worked at 2K for many years. So. That's where that, that's where he was. I, uh, yeah, that's how I know Zach. Uh, before that, well, you know um, I worked Everybody at. Everybody else expects us to do a team. It's like we're gonna zag. Sorry, I can't hear you. Zach's talking right now. He's good. I've actually worked for Zach before, um, and so that was one of the reasons why I was interested in Double Fine as well. I mean, the studio is great, and the history of games is great, um, and Psychonauts 2 is an awesome project to be a part of. Um, but uh, when I knew Zach was here as well, it was one of those like, oh, I really enjoyed working for him before. I'd love to work for him again. Thank you, and welcome to Double Fine, Ryan. Watch out! That's weird. Why did that... Um, you might want to catch that speaker before it rips out of the uh, cord. Uh, we'll get it. Yeah, so I just joined the team pretty recently, um, and the team has been putting together a, a, an art test level um, to try to figure out what the overall style, um, at least of the real-world locations, might look like. I've come in and started, you know, uh, working on some of the uh, the paths to the level in terms of the platforming um, aspects, in terms of um, trying to find what that that platforming pacing feels like, um, getting some interesting flows through the level as well. So even though it was supposed to be an art test, it feels a little bit closer to a, a real world Psychonauts environment, which is pretty exciting to have this early on in the project. Especially in these outdoor environments, exploration is a really big one. Like feeling curious about the environment. Um, and curiosity is a word that, that is important to us um, in, in terms of uh, letting the player guide themselves through those environments. So uh, being able to see a pretty big open environment in front of you, feeling curious about different aspects of it, wanting to explore those things, getting rewarded for doing that, and then being able to continue going on. I think that's a really, really important part of what we're working on right now. And then just playing with these fun primitives, like I was talking about earlier, getting started on this fun action path. But yeah, you know, trying to find um, that rhythm that feels really good as you're moving through these environments. That area I want to improve a little bit. It doesn't feel like um, the flow that you can have jumping up there is super great. Um, and it's definitely something that needs to feel a little bit more um, intentional in terms of the player moving through it. Because I think you understand by that time where your destination is, um, where you want to be going. Um, and so try not to impede the player as they're trying to make their way up there. Really making those action paths feel satisfying from a pacing standpoint. Um, like you're hitting the moves that you want, you're hitting the jumps, uh, the cantilevers, the tight ropes, the different platforms that you can jump onto. A lot of that comes from just playing it over and over again. Um, and so it's really important for me to catch that stuff really early so that we don't spend a ton of time working on an environment from an art standpoint that isn't actually interesting and fun, um, that we can improve that stuff uh, you know, in the early stages. Um, just because once things start getting locked down, it's so much harder to work on them in the future. Because um, you never get it right the first time. There are too many double jumps in the level and too yes. many jumps to grabs. And that points at something else that I think is not successful in a lot of places, is yeah. there's not enough geometry that is small enough to put in the level that allow for jumps to sand. Mm. Like is it a construction thing or a layout thing? Both. Okay. All right, well we're just about out of time. There's a really good list of things. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm super proud of where this thing ended up. Yeah. I think it ended up yeah. really cool. Yeah, there's some awesome stuff in here. Yeah, Peter um, was really impressed when he Yes, came Peter Chan had very, very nice things yeah. to say about it. Um, and he's a hard ass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Again, it, it all leads towards what is going to be eventually built for Psychonauts 2, um, even if it was just something that goes into a document as a lesson learned and a best practice for the future. Um, sorting it out now is a lot easier than trying to solve those problems later, for sure.